This is Trail Rider 570, and we'll be doing a bunch a ride with the Twin Lakers. Yeah. And right here they all are. All the way up to there. He's got his camera going, so we'll be going here in a few minutes. Uh, we got a, a couple of players, North Stars. So we'll get going here in a few. in a few minutes here just get everybody lined up we got a North Star Ranger North Star 1000 behind us he just bought it and uh, we're gonna actually have two North Stars so we'll get ready to go here in a few I'm just going slow so I make sure everybody's coming Get with you when we get on the trail here in the field.
that stock here is a funny story. Okay, around here, this is bear air area. There's bear in here. Well, you'll see there's mulberries in here. I come through here one day and there was a raccoon in the middle of the trail. He's sitting there licking himself. I pulled up on him. He never moved. All of a sudden, he put his paws up like this. He fell over backwards. And uh, they said, what's the matter with him? Is he rabid or something? Well, the mulberries fall off the bushes and they hit the ground. There's some mulberries right over here. And they eat those berries that are laying on the ground while they ferment. Oh, he's drunk. He was a drunken raccoon. Oh. And he was laying right here. I had, I had to come up and I had to go way wide around him because he wasn't moving. Then I look out my rearview mirror and he's laying outside just uh, kicking his back legs and flicking his tail and everything. It was a drunken raccoon. Where'd you come from? Are you Randall Dustin? Yeah. How is it? Good. Great. Uh, it's nice you're in the back because I see the, the, the quad, then I can see your headlight. Plus I played it. If somebody comes up behind us, it's a safety thing. Right. But, uh... Yeah, this, I was telling them. That's a first for me, riding around the first trip. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm not even getting enough air through here. My leg's burning off my pipe. I'm not getting enough air through. Oh, that. yeah. Holy crap. Well, I was, I'm going, trying to go slow. Well, I wish you'd pick it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody would go, rather go a little faster. We can go a little faster. Yeah. I was just telling them that uh, I wanted to make sure he was doing okay. Oh, oh he's, he's, a, he's very yeah. experienced. Yeah. But, uh, Right here, these are mulberries. I come through and there's a raccoon in the middle of the trail one day. And he wouldn't move. He kept looking at me. So I come over here and went around him. All of a sudden, he puts his paws in the air and he falls over. And I'm going, what the hell's the matter with him? Drunk on mulberries. He, he's eating the berries off the ground. They ferment. And he was drunk. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. We'll go a little faster because we've had requests. I just wanted to make sure that everybody's comfortable. Oh, we're good. Fast yeah, you go. I don't think you can go too fast that kid there. Well, that was the worst spots coming down that ruddy area. That the rest of this is either. nice. That wouldn't even slow him down. Yeah, I wanted to make sure. So. Oh, yeah, he's a natural. All right, yeah. we'll go. We can go a little faster. He's pretty seasoned. His sister, on the other hand, that's why I said she's That's she was just why we told her no. She's right. new at it and. She's learning. Don't need to it's nice out here. Make her feel like yeah, this is, her comfort zone. Like I said, this is bear area. Yeah. Because the berries are right there. You see the bear over there, Ryder? Right where you were just peeing. I thought that's why you ran. <laughs> There's bears all over here. Yeah, that's cool. And drunken raccoons. <laughs> drunken raccoons. That'd be cool to see. Yeah, he's right in the middle of the freaking trail. And yeah, drunk. I was he's like, sitting there looking at me and like, he's not moving. He's, he can't. He, was, he physically can't move. Then he's looking at me and all of a sudden he puts his paws up and he falls over. And they said, yeah, he's eating the mulberries. They they get yeah. ferment That's so funny. and they get drunk on them. That's funny. Can we go faster? Yeah. That's I want to make sure everybody's okay because from this point on we'll go faster. Yes. Pass and carry. How much faster? I can go as fast as I want, but I want to make sure you guys are all okay. These little tires rip. I'm good. These little tires rip, man. Hudson, you need a drink? Oh, you already got it. How are you drinking that? Nice day for a ride. It is. Beautiful day. This is a nice spot. I like it back in here. I think you just hit a growth spurt, too. Or is it the process? Just took last night, even. Who? Because he's... Is that better? 
Yeah, a lot yeah. better. I'm used to riding racing. Well, I, 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 li I like to go fast, but... Oh, yeah. No, everything's good. That little, I think they just stopped at the corner. That 570 yeah. is ripping. Oh, yeah, it'll do 60 miles an hour. Yeah, it goes pretty good. Well, it's the new engine. Yeah. It's not the same one they run in, the, like, the Sportsman. Yeah, I said they had them in the Sportsman, but different. Yeah, that's a uh, four-valve engine. Okay. It's 44 horsepower. Ryder, come on. Hey! What happens if they come flying around that corner? You kind of blend in. Then we'll go back out this way. Then when we turned, we'll go that way, and that'll take us to the... I call it seasonal road, you take it straight out, then that road that we come in on, uh -huh. you make a left at that road and it takes you right back to campground. Okay. Or if you go right on through here, it's about a two hour ride. So oh, you great. guys can come and explore it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I've been tracking that. What the heck are they doing? Oh, they're waiting for the four wheeler. Here, coming up. Yeah. Yeah, they got it. Well, I didn't want to go any faster than... Uh, You're doing good. <laughs> we'll let them park. Is this that spot? Yep. Cool. I said look for the five rocks. Yep, you said that. Yep, don't be jumping in. You'll come back like a baby. Is that better? Your leg warm? Yeah, that was great. I like doing that. I, I would just, I, like that too. I was just concerned with the, the no, young guy, good. but he did As it. you said, he wanted to go fast. Oh, well, well, he did good. See, we, now we know we gotta wait till Warren's ready before you guys took off. I didn't off. have my helmet on or my gloves on or anything when you guys took off. You guys got so oh. far ahead of us, he wasn't sure which way to go. Oh. So Richie did good. You waited for us at that turn, yeah. just like you need to. I yeah. seen your headlights in there, yep. and I was like, this Perfect. pulled right here. I was like, I'll just wait for him. <laughs> I think I'm the like, only tee we ran to was right after that clearing. You could have went left or right, and there was an arrow to the right. Yeah, it's the water. Right, and maybe the dust hadn't settled yet. Yep. That's why I was trying to spin the tires going around the corner. That way you figure. I said you can't see their tracks. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, right over here is the, the trail between those two rocks, and we'll walk back in there, and that's where the, the, the spring is at. I always just pull my keys just because, but I, you're blocked in. I'm but blocked in. Uh, mine's got insurance too. Someone drove over there. They only got the bar right here though. Yeah. Is this National Forest? Yep. That's why they. You can actually, we get closer, we'll, we'll, we, we can hear it. You can hear the water running. We're going to go see one of nature's wonders. Now, I have a, I have a Facebook page. Yeah. And I have a, uh, my Facebook page is Drone Effects, but also I have a, uh, a Facebook page for this. It's called Whiskey Creek Trail Rider. Okay. And if you see, take pictures, uh, go look for that page. I have a personal page, too, which yeah. is Claude Delier. But you, uh, if you see in pictures, just... Put them there because yeah, well. maybe I'll steal some of them. Yeah, perfect. Good. See how cool it is back in here, it too? Good. It is a lot cooler. Yeah. This is bear habitat, so you tend to want to talk a lot. Don't be afraid to Whoop. make. <laughs> exactly. Make You're noises. Gonna... Don't do that. That sounds like a dead rabbit. <laughs> Yep. Right. Well, there's spring here, and I met, if you listen, well, you can hear the, the wind in the right trees. Now. It's right up here. It's not a... I came here and found it in the wintertime. Somebody told me about it. And it's look for look for the five rocks. Yeah. And I okay, I found the five rocks, but you didn't see the trail. So I was trudging through snow to get down here. Sure. 
Like little bushes. That's pretty cool. No. No, the only place you see them is in Alaska. And there's a name for them. I can't think of the name of it. But they got the leaf looks about the size of that smaller one there. But if you rub against them, it feels like your your skin's on fire. And and they got they're like harpoons, they got barbs. And you you gotta let them fester and pull out. We have something like that here. Because I was hunting and I hit one and it like literally feels like a bee sting. It's just a baby little I forgot there's something else we have here they don't have in Alaska. They got mosquitoes. I call it bee sting. And and it's a lie, they're not that big. They're like our mosquitoes. Everybody says Alaska mosquitoes are big. No. They just are Fight a lot. <laughs> yeah, but their bear are different than our bear. They have black bear there, but they got they have brown bear. Right, those are big. The brown bear don't need a reason just to come after you. They will. We're black bear up here. If like they hear us, they're not gonna. They're gonna go the other way. They're gonna avoid us. When, when, we, were, when we went on a cruise up there, they took us on. We hiked up part of the Golden Staircase. Yeah. And where the miners went yeah and then we floated down a river in a raft and that was just beautiful up there yeah. but the, gu the guide the guide had stuff to try to keep the bears away from you but he wanted you making lots of noise while you were walking right when we did the the hike through tonga national forest there it's a rainforest in uh -huh. ketchikan yeah they they carry flares they don't carry bear repellent no, because they, they say Bear repellent has stuff, if you spray it in a, a bear's eyes, it will actually eventually blind them. So if they, they'll, if a, if a, like the brown bear, they use a flare gun, like a boat flare, and they'll light it and go like this, and the, the bears will run away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, but they don't like to use bear repellent up there. That's a good idea. Yeah, if it hurts their eyes. Well, it, if it hurts the bear's eyes, eventually the bear is going to die. So, because they're, ba you know. You know, I'm not sure. This is, a, this is, somebody, somebody actually showed this to me, but. Uh, if they had sassafras here, I'd be eating that. That was winter time they showed me. My wife, she had, three years now, she broke, three years ago, she broke her back. So she was here, but she had to stay in the ranger. So I come down here and took a video of it. But somebody, they used to have a glass sitting here, but not that I used somebody else's glass, but. Where water comes up out of the ground. Okay. It's like an artesian well. Yeah. There's a spring right there where that mud is too. Yeah, I stepped in. <laughs> That's why I had her move and have her come over here. It's a little some more solid. That's so slippery. Well, they're fussy sassafras, because I like sassafras. Pretty good. You got this. You're an old pro. Up at Kitchen to Kippy, there's a great big one. Yeah. Well, this is our version. Yeah. <laughs> We're in Lower Michigan. Patrol version. Yeah. Oh, you know about that too, then. Because we're below the bridge, so we're trolls. I got, I got a guy I work with. He's he's from up by uh, White Pine, up by Copper Harbor, or up by uh, Porcupine Mountain. I mean. Right. He worked at a copper mine up there before he worked with me. It's like so they use sassafras as like a shortcut. We we teased the crap out of him when he first came down here. He was. He was in awe how many things there were so close to where he where he lived. Yeah, that water there tastes just like my well in my house huh. up here. I didn't taste it, but it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, when we'd go to my aunt's in Myrtle Beach, there was an artesian well not too far from where she lived. And everybody in town would take jugs over there and fill them up. You can see it sometimes somebody drove, used to drive back in here. Yeah. That's probably how that got boxed in. They actually, you think about it, right here's the turnaround. Yeah. I bet you they used to camp back in here. We hunted back in this area one year, a couple of days, and didn't do any good. Well, up here, typically, I'm going to tell you right now, during hunting season, all the deer go to private property and hang out. Yep, they do. Our association of trails across the street are full of deer. Yeah, yeah, I know. When, when, uh, Mark used to own the place and I used to camp up there all the time. We hunted and well, we'd go to a potluck in the condo association building there at the bottom there. Yeah. Because he invited us, so. Yeah. We'd bring some food down there and eat down there. That was a pretty good deal.
They want fast. We'll go fast now.
You can actually see the crick right here from it. Right here it is. Oh wow. You can you can see it bubbling up to the sand. Yep, sure enough. Look at that. What is that? It's a spring. A natural spring coming You out don't of the get in there because it'll make you too young, then I have to change your diapers again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. People drink out of this? What's that? People drink out of this? You can. It's it's you stick your hand in, it's real cold too. It's crystal clear. Yeah, it's real fresh. I want to drink it. <laughs> I got your, your water coming up out of the ground. Yes, no, I'm just kidding. Can we drink this? You could. You probably better not. Though. It's filtered. Maybe that's about it. It's filtered. Careful up there, buddy. They used to have a glass sitting here. People have actually come down here and drank from it. Yeah. I There's an artesian well up by where my aunt and uncle used to live. With everybody in town. Where they lived, would go down there with jugs and fill their jugs up. Yeah, look at it come out of the ground. Oh, that tastes really good, actually. Mom, do we have any water bottles or something I can use to drink this? Mm. Tastes just like my well water, actually. Does it? Yeah. Fresh. Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> it tastes like actual bottled water. Good you thing you didn't see me pee it in there. <laughs> That's so cool. You can that see it bubbling up through the sand. And like you can even yeah. like, like when you look on a certain angle, like you can even like see the like, uh, I just want to touch it. Feel it, it's really cool. I took a drink, I'm going to be young by the end of the ride. <laughs> then it feeds this crick. This crick yeah. runs, uh, I was going to ask you that. Well, if we take the long, go the long way that way still, uh, there's, there's a campground over there and the crick runs, it gets wider and, and it, there's like stones and it kind of and it starts right here. Yeah. Well, isn't that cool? Where does it go to? Uh, if we take the, if you take the trail that way, uh, probably about 40, 30 minutes, there's a campground, a rustic campground. Okay, with the one that's got the big bridge and stuff? Yep. Yeah, okay, I that that crick, oh, this feeds that crick. Okay. I don't know, it's, it's, if we go straight, we end up coming out the road and coming, going past Crystal Valley uh, cross country trailhead and all that. Got burrs all over it. Yeah, they're not really sticky to a circle. They're not really picky because you can pick them right off. They're like sticky. They're not poky. Poky. They, they look worse than what it is. Huh? Yeah, they stick to everything, but they don't poke. They're, they don't hurt you. In Alaska, they got a plant looks like this. It has a leaf like this. But they're like that. And yeah, no, they got one like this. They uh. I can't think of the name of it, but the stem has got barbs on it, and if you flip it up, this has all got barbs, and they got like little, they look like a, they, I can't think of what they call them, but they, they kick out, and they, they, they get in your skin, and it, and it, it burns. It'll, it feels like, it feels like it's burning, and, and uh, then you uh, have to just let them fester, then pull them out. Mm -hmm. But they got another one that you're talking about. Yeah. That's in my one of the vi videos. The leaves are like four times as big yeah, as this. Huge. Yeah, they, they would wrap, uh, when the Indians would cook and, uh, stuff, they would wrap stuff up. And uh, at my house, I have a hatchet head and I have a skinning tool that I found on one of my rides. The Ojibwe Indians are from this area. From here all the way up to the Straits of Mackinac. And it was, this was off a, a tomahawk. And it was a not just a regular tomahawk. It, the head comes to a point and it was shaved. It was off like a battle axe. Just make a lot of noise when you're up in there. There's bears around here, so make noise. You guys look like a snack. Make a lot of noise when you walk. Yell and scream. This is the time it's permitted. <laughs> They'd do it even if you didn't tell them they could. Well, we got this water source yeah, here. Actually better off yeah. Be quiet. This is probably a great water <laughs> yeah. source. The bear and the deer come down here. I mean, this trail gets used sometimes. You, I haven't seen no hoof trick traps, but. I, there's these bushes.
Which is that actually like when you get hit by them, it's like like literally looks like a like a. Did you see that, Dad? Did you come down and see it? Just you may want to help her right there. It's slippery. Yeah, don't walk through the muddy part. Like a bee sting almost, and it like hits you, and it literally. Uh, kids move this way a little bit. That's mucky right there. If she gets over here, it's a little better walking. Like when I go hunting, I hit a bush one time, and it literally feels like you're getting stung by a bee. It hurts. That's awesome. I had to change batteries. They like to go fast, so we go fast. We'll wait for you. Just wait for everybody to get turned around. Make sure everybody started. We took off last time and did it no-no. One guy wasn't even ready to have his helmet on. So. Okay guys, we're going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you my channel, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for future updates, and we'll see you in the next one.